Hi, welcome to another video. So, a new Claude Code graphical interface has come around, and I thought I'd talk about this as well. This one is called Conductor. Conductor is basically a Claude Code graphical interface that allows you to run a bunch of Claude codes in parallel. Each Claude gets an isolated workspace. You can see who's working, see who's stuck, and what's changed. The interface looks quite good as well. It is basically quite similar to something like Claudia. Though Claudia is open source, this is not open source, which is a bummer. But it is fully free, which is great. It also works with Claude Pro and Max as well, if you have that set up. Right now, it only supports Claude Code, but it seems that support for others, such as Gemini, is coming soon, which will be cool to see. It uses Git Worktree in order to sandbox each session in its own branch, which you can get merged into the main repo once you think that it looks good. That is mainly the talk about it. Now let's fire it up and let me show it to you in action. But before we do that, a quick word from today's sponsor, Augment Code. This isn't your average AI assistant. Augment Code is an enterprise-grade AI built for real engineering teams working in massive, fast-moving code bases, not toy apps or vibe coding. It's far superior than Windsurf and Cursor because of its proprietary context engine that delivers millisecond-relevant snippets even across 100k file monorepos, feeding your entire repo, even millions of lines, into the best model available in real time. You get smart, in context suggestions that make sense for your production code with Claude Sonnet 4 Plus Augment Context delivering the best quality at the same price. No model picker needed. Augment upgrades for you automatically. There's no need to switch editors. Augment works seamlessly in VS Code, JetBrains, Vim, and even Cursor. No forks, no compromises. It's secure by default and never trains on your code and supports customer-managed encryption keys. Your only build for successful requests, that's paper message pricing, no seat licenses, or complicated token math. Augment recently launched powerful new features like remote agents, which let you launch, monitor, and merge pull requests from parallel cloud workers without draining your local CPU. If you're ready to code with AI that keeps up with you, sign up for a free 14-day trial at augmentcode.com link is in the description. Now, back to the video. Here, on the left, you can see the repositories that you have added. You need to add the repository URL and not the project path meaning that you need to have a GitHub repo set up, and then it will download that repo and set it up. I don't really like this approach, because it would have been better to just let it run in a local path, even without Git set up. However, that seems to not be possible here. Anyway, for each repo, you can also add a custom script to run its setup. So, you can ask it to do npm install, or something like that as well. I have added a new repo here, and what you'll see is that in each repo, you get workspaces. Workspaces are basically different sessions that allow you to use it accordingly. Each workspace creates a new Git work tree. So, it's perfectly sandboxed, and you can work on different features. You can easily create as many workspaces here as you want, which is quite good. Anyway, on the left, you have the workspaces listed, and you can go back and forth through here, while at the center, you have the main Claude Code graphical interface. In here, you can easily see what is happening, and at the bottom, you have the prompt box. In the prompt box, you can type in your prompt, as well as toggle the model between Sonnet and Opus, and add thinking options to it. You can ask it to think long, short, or medium. It doesn't have the ultra-think option yet, it seems, but that's fine. On the right, you have the to-dos listed, where the to-do will show as soon as Claude Code crafts it, and you can see as soon as the tasks are done, which is also cool. And then you have the terminal. You can easily use the terminal through here as well, and do something if you wish. Also. If you want to open up this Git work tree in VS Code or whatever, then you can hit this option at the top, which will allow you to open it up in VS Code or Terminal or Finder, which is quite good 
if you want to go away from Claude Code and do something in it. Also, at the bottom left, you have two or three more options. First is the archived workspaces to recover deleted workspaces, and there's also the settings option. In settings, you can see options like session notifications. It will basically notify you when a task completes, which is quite good if you want to let it roll in the background or something like that. Now let me show you how it works as well. So, I'm going to ask it to implement the light theme and dark theme functionality. And once I send it, you'll see that it will first rename the branch to something more useful. In this case, it will rename it to something like Theme Toggle, and then it will go ahead and get started on it. It will first create the to-do stuff. You can see on the right that the to-do is now created, and you can see the list of tasks here. Now, as it progresses, the tasks here will start to check off as well. And you can also see what it is doing in the main interface if you want to use that. Anyway, in a bit, it will get done. And as you can see, it did the stuff quite well. Now, you can obviously go through the stuff that it did, as well as see the cost that it all incurred at the top as well. It will only show if you are using the API, so that's cool. Now, another thing that you can see is that at the bottom, you have the Open PR option. Open PR will basically prompt Claude Code to make a new PR for us, and then it will go ahead, and in a bit, it will create the PR for us. You can now view this PR as well easily through the button here, and it will just open the PR for you that you can use accordingly, which is quite awesome. So, that is kind of cool for sure. Also, at the top, you get some more options as well, which are the compact context and clear all chat messages. Compact will just compress the context until now, while clear will just remove all the messages. Secondly, you can also see the whole context percentage that has been used, which is also good. Another thing is that if you want to see exactly which files are changed, then you can also hit this files change thing at the top, which will show you the exact changes diff that you have done over here, which is quite good for an overall view of the changes. Also, the whole thing is quite snappy. Like, it feels much more native and much faster than something like Claudia, which is quite good. But this feels a tad bit snappier and a bit better. Though, it doesn't have the Agents option or the option to set custom system prompts, as well as it doesn't have the option of slash commands. Like, the slash commands work, but you don't get a list like you do when you hit slash in Claude Code or Claudia, which is a bit of a bummer, but that should be added soon. There's also the dark theme if you want that, which is also good. That is mainly about it. I saw it and thought to talk about this because it is quite good for a simple graphical interface. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.